Welcome, Cleaning Nation. I'm so excited to hang out with you and my new BFF, Laney, today. Uh, as always, if you are serious about taking your cleaning company to the le next level, if you want to get the time and money freedom that you've always wanted, all the resources that we've created over the last three or four years, as well as a brand new video with the five shifts that you're going to want to make, I made for you. It's all for free. It's all at growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now and uh, use those tools to make new and different mistakes than the big dumb ones I spent the last 20 years making. Today, we are chatting with Lainey Ensley from Your Cleaning Service, Your Cleaning Service has been serving the Greenville County, uh, South Carolina area with both residential and commercial cleaning since 2014. If you want to reach out to Lainey and her team, you can get a hold of them at www.your-cleaning-service.com. Your-cleaning-service. Uh, the dashes are dashes, not spelled out, .com. Lainey, welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. So excited. So excited to have you. You've got the high energy. You've got the cool southern accent. I don't know what else a guy could ask for. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. I, I do have a southern accent. I do have to admit, I, I'm I'm not quite as southern as some, like my husband, for instance. He's he's terrible. I I mean, I don't let him talk when we go places most often because he talks like he's right here, and I would, <laughs> I really really does. But we are from the south, so I'm very proud. So there you go. Well, proud to have you on the show. Uh, how did you get connected into Cleaning Nation? What uh, what uh, got you in the cleaning business, and what got you connected with us? Well, I'll be honest with you. I do. Uh, I I enjoy what I do, um, and my, I'm a hands-on kind of person. I've got a great crew, um, but I often go and join them and help with the work. And while we're working, we listen to podcasts. And you're the person that we listen to. <laughs> well, fantastic. I'm so glad that you, uh, you're digging that show in that area. What's going on in your world this very day that I can help uh, make a little better? Well, um, I'm relocating. Um, my daughter has five children, and um, she's by herself. Unfortunately, her husband decided to leave, and so she needs my help. Um, so what I'm doing is picking up and moving to a new area, and I'm a little, you know, I, like confused, not sure where to start, not sure what strategies to take or what steps to take to get started in the new area. So anything you have to offer would be greatly appreciated. Love it. After, I think, more than 350 episodes, it boggles my mind. Um, we still get people asking questions that I'm almost positive. And again, it's been years, so I, you know, I, maybe I've covered it. But I'm almost positive we haven't covered this before. And if we have, it's been a long time. So great question, Lainey. I'm sure that there are dozens, if not hundreds or thousands of folks in Cleaning Nation with that same question. And we're going to help all y'all right now. So let's get a couple details. How far are you moving and when are you moving? I'm moving a 250-mile distance. Um, to the coast, um, to uh, Horry County area. It's um, Myrtle Beach, and I'm sure there's a lot of people familiar with Myrtle Beach. Um, and it's it's high energy here. It's a lot faster pace than what I'm used to. Um, you know, there are a lot of high end properties. There's so many different um, diversified areas that you can actually go in. Like there's the hotel industry or the vacay industry or, you know, commercial or residential. There's so many areas, but I'm not sure what I want to focus on um, is the residential because we're great at that. You know what? One of my cohorts came with me and I'm so excited to have her. Her name is Sandy and um, she's been on my crew uh, since the beginning and she decided to come with me. So we're super excited to be here, but we're a little scared. <laughs> okay, so have, <laughs> you, sure where... have you already moved, or is this happening in the future? We are here. Okay. We are. We have moved. We have moved. All right, so you've already moved. Uh, you went 250 miles, so that sounds like, I mean, six, seven hours by, uh, at least five or six hours by car, correct? It, yes, it's five hours, yes. Okay. Um, are you keeping the old business and starting a new one, or just picking up stakes and starting a new? Unfortunately, I had to pick up stakes and start anew, so I'm starting all over. Um, you know, I was able to save a little money and put some back, so I got a little cushion, um, and I've got some marketing budget put back. Um, but I was, you know, I wanted to talk with you and see what areas or, or how to market in this area. What would, you, what would be your best guess? 
Perfect. So just to be clear, because well, there's a lot of different options that we could have, you've already moved. So exactly. we, we're not going to talk about what you can do to prepare, which we would talk if you're like, okay. hey, I'm moving in three months. That would be a different conversation. You've already moved. Uh, it's right. you've shut down the other business. Um, so we can't there's no sense in talking about how to manage it um, remotely. The really the, the big thing that you need today is I'm in a brand new uh, I'm city, in a brand new market. Exactly. And I need to know how to approach it. Cool. Well, the good thing is uh, we're going to use the same system we use for everybody, whether it's starting a new company okay. in a place that you've been for 50 years or starting a new company in a place that you've been for five days, the system is going to work. Um, and yeah, I use the clean profit method and I've built it not just in different cities, but different, um, different businesses. So starting okay. a different city, same business, super easy. First and foremost, um, if you haven't already done this, the one thing that you brought with you, whether you meant to or not, was your core values, right? The, the things that you believe. For exactly. me, it's, yeah, so yeah, having, for me, absolutely. it's having fun, making money, being real, help out. Um, so we're always going to start from that place and look to attract people that share those core values. So um, whatever we write, whether it's in Tampa or LA or New York or DC, we're all going to be about our core values because those are the same no matter what. So if you've got that foundation, the next thing you're going to want to do, uh, the bidding and billing, uh, that would be our next step in the clean profit method. Uh, the bidding and billing is going to be the same, right? We're always looking to okay, build the exactly. same profit margins. Um, and the way that we do that is based on ex our cost. And if the cost goes up, that's fine. But the way that we're going to bid goes exactly the same. So you don't have to reinvent that wheel. The third step right. would be picking a niche. That's what it sounds like the step we're on currently, which is really getting clear on who you're going to serve, correct? Exactly. That's exactly where we are. Okay. So the thing I'm looking for, number one, when it comes to a niche, and it's funny, people would say like money or uh, trying to think of what else they would say. Mostly is money or that there's lots of them or that they're easy to get a hold of. <laughs> and those are fine. I'm not saying those are wrong, but that's not going to be the first or second thing I look for. The first thing I'm going to look for is pain. Um, perfect example. Ah, that's what I love about you. <laughs> I love, I, you are awesome. Go right ahead. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. It, but hey, I love that. That's a perfect approach. Anytime you're going to tell me I'm awesome, you interrupt anytime you want. And I'm going to record it and play it back for my bro my <laughs> wife and go, see, she thinks I'm smart. <laughs> I always tell people that Cleaning Nation pays me to talk. My wife would pay me to shut up. So it's, uh, it's good to have that. Oh, wonderful. So go, go ahead. I'm listening. All right. So I'll give you a quick example of how that bit me right in the butt. And, uh, you know, again, most of these, most of these things I'm telling you, it's, it's 2% of the things I did right, and I'm a genius. 98% is the things I did wrong and just bringing my mistakes to you all. So before, uh, after I sold my car dealership, before I started with Cleaning Nation, I was looking for a niche. And um, I thought I was going to try, I didn't think I was going to try, I tried plastic surgeons because um, they have money, right? They can afford, right. you, you know, the, I think the average plastic surgeon makes $350,000. There's plenty of them. They congregate nicely, right? They have associations. They all have to be uh, licensed. So if I want to find them, I can just buy a list because anyway, lots of good things about uh, plastic. So all the stuff on paper, they're a great niche. Uh, they're nice people. Okay. Everything was great. Um, the problem is they had no pain. I called them and you know, they're making, ah. they're making $350,000 a year and working maybe 35 hours, maybe 40, right. Doing what they loved. Right. They loved, love, love yeah. operating on people. Um, so to go, Hey, I can help you make 450,000 a year, 500,000 a year, but, <laughs> but you have to do some marketing. You have to, you have to do some extra stuff. That's not operating. You know, obviously I can't help them with that. I don't know the first thing. Um, so the right. skill set I had, they were just weren't interested. They're like, I'd rather make my $350,000 a year and play golf three days a week like I do now than do any of the work that you're asking me to do and, and make more money. <laughs> wow. Wouldn't you say in theory, it sounded great. It's a, yeah, they have money, they have everything. But um, anyway, so that's it. So all that to say, if there's no pain, there's no sale. So first and foremost, always look okay. for pain. If you have, and again, okay. I think it was... Uh, Greg Halpert, famous copywriter, I think it was him, said, if you, uh, if you were going to open a new restaurant, what's the number one thing that you would look for? Um, and people would say, you know, the best food, or I want good service, or clean bathrooms, or location. nice... You, yeah. yeah, location, yeah. perfect. He said, yeah. no, the number one thing you want if you're opening a restaurant, you want to be successful, is a group of starving people, which is exactly right, right? You could have the highest end wow. steaks of right course. outside of a, a of a McDonald's, right? They just ate a bunch of junk food. You could have the highest end food right there, and you're not going to sell anything because if I just ate a bunch of McDonald's in my gut, I'm not going to be like, yes, what I would like is a thick, juicy steak. However, if I can exactly. find a bunch of people that haven't eaten in a week, I could sell those steaks for just about any price that I want, right? 
That's very true. Okay. So first and foremost, we want a group of hungry people. So if you go to talk to residential people with high-end houses, retired people, uh, people with kids in the house, people that the mom stays home and the dad works, dual income, lots of pets, whatever in that residential space that you're trying to sort out, if you talk Uh to them and you get a lot of, yeah, we've had Susie the Cleaner for 20 years and she's been great. Uh, and you hear that 20 times in a row, not a good niche, not, not Susie exactly, but whatever. Yeah. We've had a gal and she's fine or a guy or a company and it's fine. Um, that's gonna be right. tough, right? Cause now the only thing you have to discuss is what if I could do it cheaper? Right. And they might not even be interested <laughs> exactly. in that. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's not how we want to underbid just to get in. Now, right. Yeah, I don't like doing that. I right. do and, not like doing that. And, yeah. And it's not even half the time you won't even get it. They're like, well, I really like Susie. So you'd have to be, just be a stupid price where it's not even worth it. So all that to say, if you don't get a lot of, Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. They can't get the pet hair out. My wife and I have been fighting. We need more time. All we do is work. No one understands. They're a pain in my neck. That kind of emotional response is what you're looking for. So first and foremost, we want pain. Second of all, we want enough to fill your goals. So you kind of want to be clear first. And actually, that was step one, which I I skipped over. Uh, One of the steps of step one is is be clear on your goals. So if you don't know where you want to go, it's really hard to pick a niche. So if you want to build a $5 million company, very different strategy than if you want to just make $50,000 a year and, and clean a little or not clean at all. So first and foremost, we got to be clear on our goals. Once we have that, then we can look for pain. And once we look for pain, we look for ability to pay, right? There might be pregnant ladies might be a great niche, but uh, there's low income pregnant ladies that desperately have pain, but they can't afford your services, right? That just breaks your heart because you can't help them. So don't, don't, don't attract them. So first is understanding your goals. (laughs) Second is getting the pain. Third is making sure there's enough of them, right? If you're like, wow, in this community, there might only be 50 pregnant ladies at one given time. Well, that's not really enough, right? You need more. So second is, uh, are there enough? Third is, can they afford it? Do they have money? Once you've got all that, um, bonus would be, do they congregate nicely? The nice thing about moms is they congregate. They go to mom's groups, they go to mom's blogs. Um, and then last would just be, do you like them as human beings? That's a big part of why I chose owners of cleaning companies. I love you guys. <laughs> My favorite, I just love working with owners of cleaning companies, even better than plastic surgeons. Even though you're all broke and they all have money, I still prefer you guys. Exactly. You're great. <laughs> That's funny. Bless you. Bless you. So that's how you pick your niche. Once you've got your niche, the next step is to um, understand their pain better than anyone else in the world understands their pain and be able to communicate it better than any of your competition is able to communicate it better than they've even been able to communicate it to themselves. Right. So your competition is saying stuff like we don't cut corners. We clean them. Right. That's that doesn't a doesn't mean anything. B that's not their pain. They're, They're not sitting at home telling their husband. I have this corner that has been not cleaned. But it's got dust bunnies in it, and they're not cleaning it, daggone it. You right. Know? That's, not, that's, that's not where they are. Exactly. exactly. They're saying stuff like the husband's going, you know, I come home from a busy day, and the house looks like a mess, and the wife's like, well, I work harder than you do. I've got these three kids, and they're fighting, and, you know, both of them feel like they work their tail off, and – Nobody cares about their needs or their what, what's going on in their lives. These are the types of people that we want to that we want to work with. Or they love the pets, but they've got pet hair everywhere that's causing them allergies. And the husband's like, "I go to work covered in pet hair, and I can't do my job and pay for this whole damn thing." These are the see how that's real pain versus. Oh, that's very good pain. I love that kind of pain. Yeah. Right. And once you've got that, super easy. So again, most people want to start with marketing. Where do I market? And it's like, back it up. That's like step four. So step one, understand your goal. Step step two. You're absolutely right. You make so much sense. I'm so glad I'm I'm able to talk to you. I've done this more than once. (laughs) So I appreciate that. Uh, You know what? You're absolutely correct. It didn't even dawn on me to to do this kind of thinking. What I thought was, you know, I hit the floor running and – market everywhere and you know people would start calling because that's essentially what i did to start my business but yeah and if you've got unlimited time and unlimited so money it is because if, if you have all the money in the world then you can just spend a bunch of money and you don't care if people respond that'll work but if you've got finite budget for 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 marketing or client attraction small budget right yeah. i have a small budget but it's not anything you know that that's that's you know, miraculous or anything, but I love your, I, I mean, your approach is, is, is so much more simple and you know, it, it, it makes much more sense. It we, really does. It does help to have a system. And if it makes you feel better, I spent 20 years kind of sorting this thing out and banging my head against the wall to figure it out. And, uh, it is my great honor to be able to share it with you cleaning nation. Okay. Any other questions or needs about how to market this thing and get off the ground? Or do you feel like you're half sorted out? I 
think I'm going to take your advice. Um, I'm going to look for some pain. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to look for uh, the amount of uh, the volume of pain involved um, and see if I can't find a way to um, approach that that clientele and go from there. I, I, it's a very simple process. You just explained it like, you know, it's night and day. So you turned the light bulb on. Thank you so much. That is why I do what I do is I turn light bulbs on. All right, enough of me uh, talking. Let's hit the lightning round. Uh, as we are heading to Lightning Round Cleaning Nation, I want to take a second to personally invite you. If you like this and think, wow, this is really helpful, go to growmycleaningcompany.com. I just put as uh, condensed as much as I could into 50 minutes. I get a lot of people listening to the podcast going, how do I start? Where do I go? Give me an overview. Give me a foundation to build from. Growmycleaningcompany.com has a brand new online training, webinar, whatever you want to call it. I put it together. There's no charge. Um, I try to get as much value oh in as my. little time as possible. GrowMyCleaningCompany.com. Wow. Yep. Check it out. Totally free. That, I will. That's the next step. All right. That said, okay. let's hit the lightning round. Um, Lainey, I'm going to ask you three quick questions. You're going to give me three amazing answers. Question number one, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received, either personally or professionally? Um, if you're going to clean something, make sure it's 100% clean when you leave it. Love it. Uh, hard to hard to argue with doing your job well. How about um, mistakes? What's the biggest mistake you've made so we can all save ourselves the headache? Underbidding. <laughs> you are not alone. That is uh, the the bane of, <laughs> of my existence. With uh, almost everybody on the show says that exact same thing, and yet underbidding. you would think people listen to it, they would learn, but they still underbid. All right. Last question. What is your favorite book? We can share a cleaning nation and give them some value. I, yeah, yeah. Well, Speed Cleaning is a pretty decent book. I like it, to be honest with you. Speed Clean, that's by my friend, Debbie Sardone, who is not only an amazing human being and, and just heck of a nice woman, uh, but very bright business person and uh, love what she has to say. So Speed Cleaning. I, I love the book. I, I, I actually refer to it quite frequently. Beautiful. And uh, yes, yeah, so I, I, I carry it in my car. So. <laughs> yeah, love it. It's there for me. So yeah, go yeah. check out Debbie Sardone. I'm assuming it's DebbieSardone.com, but she's pretty well known. Feel free to Google her. She's, uh, again, a very nice human being, very smart lady, and speed cleaning. Uh, I haven't read it, but I've heard nothing but good things about Debbie and her stuff. So couldn't agree with you more, Lainey. All right, Lainey, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing your passion, your desire to grow. I appreciate you. I know Clean Nation appreciates you. Clean Nation, if you want to check out Lainey's show notes page and that special video I just made for you, totally free, growingcleaningcompany.com. Check it out now. I will see you there. All right, thank sister. You. We are out. You did great. Um, oh, hopefully you got some value. You, know you, are so go you are so good at what you do, honey. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, you know what? I mean, honestly, like I said, I was ready to hit the floor running. And, okay, we'll put a little bit of money there, and we'll do a little bit there, and a little bit there, and we'll go da 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 But you, you simplified everything for me, and it makes so much more sense. Well, it thank really you. does. Thank you it, so much. I mean, I you're welcome. I mean, I, like I said, you actually switched the light bulb on and made me see things in a much more clear way. So I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Well, I am so glad to help. I do this uh, because I love people just like you. And you know what I might do if you're okay with it? I might just take a little clip of all your kind words and put it somewhere on the website and let everyone uh, hear you saying uh, all, all these kind things. Well, I would love that. I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm for you to do that. I'm, 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 I'm being sincere. <laughs> well, I would hope so. I don't want to put up any lot. You know, Absolutely. I don't. We don't pay you anyone know, for these things. You, we listen to you. We listen to you. You know, two to three times a week. Um, you know, my um, all all my crew know you very well, and you know, we know your core values, and we have our core values, and they match a lot. Believe it or not, they you know there are a lot of of. Um, um, we got a lot in common, but I, I just appreciate who you are, what you do, and um, it's wonderful. It really is, and you have helped me tremendously. Well, thank you so much, and it's, it is not uncommon for the, the core values to match because I find the people that, just like in business, whether it's a customer or a vendor or an employee, um, people that share it's, my core values good, tend to connect. Good. Right. When it's good, it's good, right? Exactly. Exactly. All right, when sister. You are awesome. Christy, our VA, will call you when your show goes live and let you know and give you a link so you're welcome to use it to grow your business any way that you like. Um, okay. let, me, let me know how we can help you going forward and serve you, and I really appreciate you, you being on the show and contributing. Perfect. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Have Likewise, Lenny. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Congratulations. You are now 16% smarter. 
Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry loving at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.